Okay, so today we're going to make sectional dreads, and sectional dreads are dreads that are a color, black, a color, and black again. Um, I have another tutorial on how to make single-ended sectional dreads, if you want to check that out. There should be a link below. So I've already connected my synthetic hair to my awesome hanger. And um, what you want to do is make sure that it's backcombed. I know this kind of looks a little janky, but it'll do for tutorial purposes. Um, now what you want to do is make sure you have everything ready. I have my flat iron on the floor, water bottle behind me on the table, and this already. So what you want to do is start wrapping the hair on Make sure that this hair doesn't get in the way because it'll happen. Anyway, just make sure that you wrap it. And these sections can be as big or as small as you want. It does not matter. You just need to make sure that like it's nice and tight. And then when it's like this, you take this and uh, fluff it out. These dreads aren't really backcombed that much for this just so it's easier to flatten them and to make them into a sectional dread. So just pull and turn. You will end up with like this weird thing there, but don't worry about that. That's not noticeable as much. <laughs> so do that and then switch again. This is a frame. And switch. And I'm just going to continue with the black all the way down to the end. So until it covers. And normally you can spin it, but like the uh, the black hair will encompass the green and then it disappears, see, like that. Hopefully you can see that. Now, make sure it's very tight. Like that. Take your your bottle, spray bottle, and hopefully it works. And spray the hair so it's nice and wet. You can use a towel if you really want, like a cloth over your dress. Um, I find that doesn't really do anything at all for the dread. It doesn't like make it less soft or soft or hard or anything like that. It makes, like I find that it makes um, the seal not last as long if you used, you know, if you just did it like this. And that sizzle is the steam going over the dread, like the hair, sealing it. And I find that it works so much better when you just do it straight from the flat iron. They don't go really hard or anything like that. And they're just, they're fine. And some, pe some people think that it actually burns the plastic, but it doesn't. It doesn't burn the plastic at all. I mean, I would know. I've been doing this for several years. <laughs> if you get a little green in the end of the, the dread, don't, don't worry about it. It happens. Now, the ends of the dread are the most important part. So make sure you take some time to seal them fully.
And make sure you focus on these parts where the two colors meet. Because if this dread was to fluff out at all, that's where it would. Now, you just let it go and it should stay perfectly straight. And if it does puff out when you're done and it's all dry, uh, just go over it again with your flat iron and some water in the section that you feel is a little bit too puffy and then it'll be fine. And there's the first half of the sectional dread. You can always, like, if you get like a little fluffy thing there, you can always just snip that off. So now I'm going to do the other side. Very carefully wrap this like that. You don't want to hurt what you just did, especially with like sectional dreads. You don't want to undo what you just did. So after this, after I'm done making this, you want to make sure that you go over the center portion of the dread to make sure that it stays. Now release the other side, make sure to straighten it out because double-ended dreads, especially the sectional ones, um, unless you like separate it on a actual section side, so one half is a little bit longer than the other, that's the only possible way that you could braid it into your hair without the, um, the, the actual section being bent and fluffing out. So when you do decide to make sectional double-ended dreads, make sure you keep that in mind, that when you braid them in, that this, like say that this part was black, that you would braid your hair on here so that this piece can lay down flat against your hair like that. If you did it like this, this part would essentially break and um, cause you to see the under hair of the sectional dread. So um, that's it. That's what you're going for. Um, you can use more than two colors. You can use three. Um, I wouldn't recommend going over three because then it gets complicated and you have to make sure that the hairs, the hair, the dread that you're combining together are very thin and that can get difficult after a while. So that's how you make sectional double-ended dreads. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know I do. <laughs> I haven't made a tutorial in a while, so there you go. Don't you just love green? I love green so much.